All right, all right, okay, all right, okay. What's up, buddies? Welcome back to another epi of the first owner RTG, of course, around Cruyff. I will say real quick, I don't want to get soppy. I don't want these intros to be unnecessarily long, even though it probably will be now that I'm talking. Thank you guys so much. First of all, on Twitch, as always, my, my Twitch audience is so <clears throat> supportive of what we do. Very understanding of, of just in general, my grind, how I love this game, but what I want to achieve out of this game, etc. Trying to focus on fun and building fun teams like this. Yes, it does have an Mbappe and it does still have a Cruyff, but I still think this is a very fun team. And this team has earned five wins in the elite division. So... I think I'm going to go back to just taking L's with different teams and trying to grind out and earn wins with not just necessarily pure meta players. Yes, I understand there's still relatively meta players in some parts of this team, but it's an original setup, right? It's not just the Mbappe, Neymar, Messi, Ginola, uh, Kimpembe, Marquinhos, Sweat Lord setup that you're used to seeing in elite divisions. And I'm proud that we've gotten five wins out of seven there. We did it on stream and stuff like that. I got a couple of wins last night as well. Surprise, surprise, off stream, not that crazy as on stream in the elite divisions, I guess, as you would expect. So I just appreciate your guys' support and what you guys all said in the last episode, moving this to a first owner RTG, nothing changes either way. But as you guys know, a non PM RTG, um, but still first owner RTG around Cruyff, no changes there. I was really prepared to get absolutely lit up by the YouTube comments, but I think YouTube understands that nothing changes. We're still getting these edited epis. I'm really looking forward to today because it's going to be new rule breakers. Of course, if you're seeing this now, you would have seen already 6 p.m. content. Hopefully we got some good pack luck there. We've got a bunch of awesome packs crafted, 50 um, to be exact, built up already. So I'm hyped up for the day. We're going to play at least five champs games with this squad. Uh, to start the day, then we'll see what 6 p.m. brings us, then we'll see what type of, um, I suppose, what type of player objectives, we're going to grind through all of that, try and have fun with it, build original teams, test out the new players that are coming out. I can let you know as well, real quick, that this guy, and I don't feel like I'm biased in saying this, because I do like Verratti in real life, it's really cool to see lots of like top-end players, you know, Neymar saying what an incredible player Verratti is, I think anybody that knows anything knows how good Verratti is. Um, he is lights out genuinely lights out in the, even in the elite division. Now, I think personally as a holding DM is the only place for him because his shooting stats just aren't amazing. And there are some part of his passing stats that I think they reduced, right. To, to make his physical stats better. So for me, holding DM, either in a two man holding DM setup in like a four, two, three, one, or a, a lone holding DM in a four, one, two, one, two, like I use them right centrally in the four, one, two, and two. He's lights out with a shadow, 78 sprint speed, 87 acceleration. His, you know, tackling stats are fantastic. His dribbling stats are insane. His strength is insane. And then his, his passing range is, it is better than Conte. So I absolutely love this guy. He's very, very, very fun to use. I couldn't recommend him anymore for you guys. Boateng, on the other hand, um, I'm having fun with, right? Especially with the engine. I think he's even gotten a goal for us in the elite division. There you go. Um, so I am enjoying him. But I would say it's, again, one of those guys that, like, maybe if you're not the best at FIFA or you are trying to, like, move your way up Elite Division and you want to get into the top 1%, you want to get into the 1800, or yeah, everybody starts at 1800, but trust me, like, getting back to 1800 or the 1900, the 2000 skill rating, getting to the top 200, right? If you're going to be facing those types of players, I don't know. I don't know unless you're a top, 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 top FIFA player if this guy will be all that great. He is fun, but he does have some issues. Mainly his dribbling isn't great in terms of agility and balance, even with an engine. His pace ain't great either. Everywhere else he is fun and maybe he would do better. I'm using him as a box-to-box -box mid. Maybe he would do a little bit better as a central cam or maybe even like a center forward, kind of where he would have gotten his goal uh, for AC Milan to earn this, uh, what is it, flashback or moments card or, or whatever. Anyways, cool idea for me, Abe. I'm a fan of the whole, the, the card types that they're bringing out. I really am. And I'm enjoying using them. And then we do have a relatively pretty beefy bench if we ever needed any help at all. Now, oddly enough, nothing changes from this grind, right? I, I am staying liquid and grindy and, and psycho with my coins. And the fact is, is I haven't opened bronze packs in a while, so we don't have, co I don't have contracts. So to start of the day, I'm actually going to have to go open some contracts, but I just wanted to update you guys on where the club is at right now. We also managed to finish off the silver stars. So that's all done and ready to roll too. I think we maybe start the day with just, you know, we'll finish off this quick intro with, uh, I mean, do we finish off the quick, the, the intro with 10 packs? 
I, I feel like I just want to save all of the packs for the Rule Breakers Team 2. I have everybody I technically want from Rule Breakers Team 1. Yes, other than Dembele, of course. And maybe one or two other guys would have been awesome to get. But overall, I'm very happy with our, um, our, our bounty, our loot, if you will, from Rule Breakers Team 1. So actually, this is going to be the end of the intro. Let's get into some gameplay. I hope gameplay is clean, man. That's all I want. Especially while using this team, trying to get some uh, work in with Jonathan David and... Kevin Prince Boateng, all I can ask for is clean gameplay. Let's get it. Oh, we got a walk. Imagine. Imagine. Imagine day one of the first owner RTG, and that is a Cristiano again. <laughs> oh my god, that was a bit crazy. Okay. That was a little bit crazy. Oof. All right, well, first good pull of the grind. Let's go, boys. The grind. Oh, yeah, baby. <laughs> Day one CR7. Imagine. Love that. No. Oh, God, wait. No. <laughs> oh, all right, whatever. We'll just play, boys. We got no option anyway, so let's just play. Come on. Did well, Johan Cruyff just miss that? He has to hit the target from there. Can Mbappe has got to be taken seriously here. Oh, Derek, can he finish it here? So oh my... Okay, I think I'm trying to do too much. That's a brilliant I really need to be 2 nothing up there. The fact that it's still 0-0 zero, zero is Short bad, corner. man. Crave? Oh, magnificent reaction. <laughs> nicely struck. That's nuts. Jonathan! Oh, he missed it! What? Oh, this is madness! Oh, chaps kills my soul, dude! Love that! Great play! Great heads-up look! Love that! My god, that's the level we gotta go to get a goal. Dead. So brain dead. The fact that he's getting a goal off of that. This game is legitimate cheese. Unbelievable. I seem to be just conceding the stupid... Here we go again! Loser! There it is! And he's going to sweat it across goal for a tap-in. Unreal! All right, 0-1, and now we're facing a Red Rafi Ronaldo squad. Yay. Mbappe must take the lead here. And they have it's a weird goal. Say, Game plays weird today. I don't know. I don't know what it is. You ain't saving that one, eh? Move the keeper as much as you want, puta madre. You ain't saving that one. All right, I guess we're one and one. Woo! Sick gameplay today. Ugh. It is what it is. God, man. These teams are... Well, let's see how the inform Upa does versus my regular Upa, because I hate Upa Meccano now. He's so bad in game. Good goal. Good goal. Really good goal. Jonathan David, five-star weak foot, playing that pass beautifully. Just delay, man. Fuck. Trying to be Verratti. Pulling five players out of position, man. F*** me. I moved the keeper to save that. That right there, where the game doesn't give you the right player, five button clicks over, and because you're expecting to get the right player, you pull three of them out of position. You know what I'm saying? Where you're, you're trying to pick a Verratti and you want to click left with Verratti. So you, you think you get Verratti, so you move left, but you get your left center back. Now I've moved my left center back out of position. And then you f try and get Verratti again and move left, and now you've gotten your right center back and now you've moved your right center back out of position I hate this game I hate this game it's now 1-1 one, one. no way right like why is it so easy bro why is it so easy it's literally one pass and he beats my whole back line like he one button and he's in on that man 
How can I beat that? I have to pass like through fucking 47 players, dude. One button and he's in on net. That is such a shit pass. What a fucked game. I hate this game. This game sucks. I'm sorry. We're back to the same place we were last year, man. We are. It's just a fact. We're back to where we were last year. It's insanity. All logic is gone again. Like, you gotta just shoot through players and shit. It's the only way to score. If you beat a player, for some reason, it, like, registers as if, as if they're still in front of the shot. But if you shoot while the player's in front of you, it registers that, like, they're not there. It's madness. Oh, he's gonna score from kickoff, isn't he? Dude. Are you serious? Instead of to Ronaldo, you're passing it to goddamn Mbappe, who's goddamn covered... And there goes the final whistle. It's gone the wrong way. The first three weeks, we lost game after game after game after game. It didn't mean anything. The gameplay was fun and rewarding if you tried. Now I'm just losing because my players don't pass when I click pass. I'm 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 losing because my opponents chip the ball through and my players fall over. I missed the first three weeks of the game, man. I don't know what the reasoning is. I feel like it's gameplay and servers are just f***ed right now. That's all I want to believe it is. And if they fix that, at least we can go back to enjoying the game. I refuse to believe it's the patches they've released that's fucked the game, but you guys are all telling me it's that. I don't know. What am I supposed to do, man? What am I supposed to do? Find a gap in the defense. Superb block. Can he put them in front? Yes. Equalizer, but not passing it anxiously. And a goal. What the fuck was that? Good looking ball. Dirty. Nice. Never mind. <laughs> it's a mess. It's just a mess. Just a mess, boys. Just an absolute mess. I had to switch back to, into a 4-2-3-1 to, to get a win there. I don't know what's happened. I'm lost. Boys, I, it's 2-2 two two right now in Weekend League. Thank God I only have one game left to play, but I am honestly, from the bottom of my heart, lost. I do not know what's going on. I mean, I understand that this is one of the last, if not the last weekend league, so it's all sweats that are in the game, right? Uh, people that have just qualified every single time. Okay, cool. I get it. But it's I'm not losing to sweats. They're all dog shit. Every player I've played today has been dog shit. I'm sorry. And, and I'm playing dog shit too, so don't get me wrong. It, the, the difference is the insane bounces and the button delay. That's it. And I'm not playing well. I'll be the first to admit that I'm not doing very well right now. I'm running the ball into my opponents. I'm trying to pass it at my strikers even when the pass isn't there because I'm just annoyed. I'm frustrated. It's really hard to play in gameplay like this. I don't know, man. I don't know. I'm I'm like I said, I'm I'm a little bit lost. Uh PC net PC. Holy god. Nice team. Yeah, I'm playing PC. What a play. That was such a sick bit of play, boys. This guy doesn't even control his defenders. I'm literally skilling in the box. Look. Dude, it's unbelievable. This guy is the worst FIFA player I've ever played, and I can't do anything. I literally cannot do fucking anything, bro. Nothing at all. Unbelievable. Down the middle. Well, thank God I didn't listen to that. The way school of pens would have failed me there. It's crazy. And I know all I'm doing is complaining, but I hope at the very least you guys can see what we're dealing with here. Like, people are don't defend anymore in, in the box. You're seeing it. This is the fifth straight game where my opponent, they don't touch their center backs. Bro, if you did this the first three weeks of the game, I would walk through people's teams. Like, have they mentioned anything in the, um, in the, in the pitch notes about, like, buffing AI defending? And like buffing lobbed brain dead through balls again? No, right? So like it has to be all in my head that this is now or like increase RNG bounces all over the place. 
uh, nerfing manual defending. You see what I'm saying? Beautiful interception, double bounces back to him again. Like, surely it, 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 this this is all in my head, right? Because I don't know that they've noted, they've, uh, like, announced it. Have they? Surely they would tell us that they've tuned it. So they haven't, as far as I'm, as far as I've, I know. So it just, it has to be servers. The only answer is it should be servers. Three and two today, boys, with this relatively original team, at least, but... I didn't enjoy one second of it. And I'm sure you guys watching, God bless Armalika getting these uh, these edited games in for you guys. I don't know how he's going to do it. Hopefully there's some Nick 28T being muted uh, parts of the uh, of the gameplay today from Armalika because this is a disaster, man. At least our team looks cool, guys. <laughs> Wait. Did in the time I step away to get nuts... They released Player of the Month cards? Oh. Hey, right, let's have a look, boys. Really? The heck? I like the look of this guy. We did see earlier today that he won. I thought maybe they could have made him a little bit better, though. No? It's kind of... I mean, isn't this better than Maldini? Isn't this still dead? Look at that agility and balance. Dear Lord, have mercy. Bro, 64 composure? Are they okay? 75 reactions and 64 composure. Are they okay? Like, this card, like, might as well... Okay, I'm gonna say this right now. YouTube might get mad at me, because obviously it's gonna make YouTube. Chat might get mad at me. But this is just brain dead. He's like 15k. It doesn't matter. No one cares. Like, don't do this card. He could be 3k, and no one will use him. He's terrible. Like, you need to realize, EA, that when you release these cards, at least make them usable. Bump up the agility a little bit, but mainly bump up the composure so that he's even remotely usable into the 70s or 80s, and bump the reactions into the 80s, at, at the very least. You know, the acceleration and sprint speed, all right. All right, fine. That, that's whatever. It is whatever. His physical is decent. His defending is decent. No one's asking for more than that. But when they release stuff like this, like you want people to look at this card and be like, oh, maybe I'll actually replace my, Kun replace my Kunde with this guy. He looks really cool. He's not crazy expensive. I know that my Kunde is a god and he's worth 2,000 coins. This guy's worth 15K. But, and I will never get my 15K coins back. But hey, he's fun and he looks, he looks decent-ish. This is just silly. Kunde has 184 more stats in this card, and he's actually 2,000 coins, or 3,000 coins, or whatever he is right now. This guy, it it honestly doesn't, I mean, it, it doesn't matter what this is. It doesn't matter. I know to some of you guys, this is still dirt cheap, which, fair play, it actually is dirt cheap, right? This is 3k, and this is, yeah, this is literally a 10k card. I get it, right? That That's that's fine the cost is not the issue it's the fact that who cares about the cost when the card is this terrible that's my point i i love that there's a player that like that deservingly won that's getting the card that's awesome don't get me wrong i still think it's a very cool player to get but they gotta realize that ain't nobody gonna do this guy like and if they do it's he's just gonna be fodder for me i'm gonna craft him We'll put him into the La Liga squad because why the hell not? I'm running a first owner grind. So we absolutely will craft him and we will get him. But it's just, you get a couple thousands back from packs. You might even break even. I know, but again, who cares? For an 84 rated player, 84s are, if you want to use this guy as fodder, 84s are like 2,500 coins. They're like 3K. It's cool, highly deserved Sociedad player, but I'm not saying it isn't cool and it isn't a deserved Sociedad player. I'm just saying the card itself is just asinine. I mean, to be fair, so is this guy. Is he not? Like, this guy's just bloody useless again. This is such a terrible card. He's so bad. Two-star, two-star, medium, medium, six feet tall with these horrifically terrible stats that nobody cares about. Once again... I don't know what this guy's base card is, but why not with these guys, if they don't want to actually make them good, like make this guy 86 rated and upgrade the things that I said, right? Hear me out here. If they don't want to boost the agility and, and, and whatever, why not go the other route? Why not make these cards that are off, off guys that EA will just never make into meta players that are gold? 
Why not make them both 74 rated? Wait, what? Where's the rule that says they can't? With those exact stats, 74 rated, I guarantee you, and they could make them 40K even if they wanted to. Everyone would be excited and would lose their mind. Same with this guy. If they made this guy 74 rated with these exact stats, you would look at this and be like, bro, this is actually so cool. Let me, let me get him. I'll try and fit him into my silver squad. And the entire dynamic goes from these cards are ass. It doesn't matter what their cost is to, oh my God, I don't even care that this guy's 40 K. That's really cool. Those are my thoughts. Please, I hope you don't get mad at me for it. And I hope you understand the point I'm trying to make. I just once again, think EA are completely out of touch. They just don't know what is cool and what would work with the community and what people would find exciting. There's like one guy out of a hundred thousand that looks at this card and thinks, yeah, I need to get him. Maybe he's French. Maybe he's a big Sociedad fan. But you make that guy 74 and the entire FIFA community is sitting there thinking, I need to get this guy for the Silver Lounge. Same thing with this guy. Those are my thoughts. Walk out. No way. Virgil van Dijk. Again! Oh my god, dude! <laughs> Yo! 25k pack so B! I love it here, boys! The pack luck continues! <laughs> I don't know if he's even worth 200k or whatever. How much is he worth? We could have a dangler, you know? We could have a rule breaker dangler. How much is Virgil worth, boys? Dangler? Oh, wow. No danglers. All right. Well, whatever. That still works for me. 130K. Let's go. Well, boys, I think this is what we're running with for the Bundesliga setup to unlock the milestone Bundesliga center back who will actually go right into this Bundesliga squad, maybe even an England squad. So we're trying out, as always, new players, right? I'm not just going for the pure meta, although I a lot of people, I think, would argue that pretty much everyone in this team is ultra meta other than maybe the goalkeeper, maybe kevin prince and maybe brill and bolo who i love desperately so i want to show you guys what type of setup we're using again i think the skill-based matchmaking means i'm going to be playing elite players which is a nightmare but um nevertheless we got to just try and chip away at all the objectives with the squad so Hallen left striker and bolo right striker uh florian who i really did not like at all the first time i used him in champs i'm hoping you conv convince me that he's a good player um, because in this setup, at least as a central cam in a 4 one 2 one 2 Boateng and Jude out wide, and then Zakaria at CDM. Oh, a lovely ball. Oh, that was a chance to give them an early advantage. Well, they should be as a Did he just... He must hit the target. He didn't even fucking hit the target? It was an open net. Well, it's always a great trail to watch. Like, how hard did we have to work for that? That's a finesse, at least. God bless. Build up at the moment, and Bellingham. Let's see if something comes of this. Unreal. Oh, what the hell was that? The... Let's go, Alan. There's a finesse at least. And Bellingham. That's great play, though. That's a great play. That is great play. No cross, but we got a finesse in two goals. W. Please, Howland. Doesn't even face up to the ball. I'm trying to head the ball with Howland and he runs away from it and then tries to do a backwards header. That's so dirty and I don't even get rewarded with a good goal. That's such a dirty play and we have to score the double deflected rebound. Too bad. That was nice with Florian, I thought. Is it going to end up being productive for them? It's there for him. Penalty in the opinion of the referee. I'm surprised this guy doesn't like turn his console off so I don't get the uh the double goal. Not that I even need it. Yeah, he knows. Oh, he's really up on the 
There it is. That ha that has to be a cross, right? That should be my like third or fourth cross, but I think that might only be my second. Oh my God, Erling! Holy shit! That was very dirty from Florian Verts too, wasn't it? That was like a I, that okay. Just because this is honesty hour, right? That was an L1 R1 low driven headed attempt there. I just I because I need to be honest with you guys. Don't think I tried to chip that with his head because I have some 5000 IQ brain where the only way I was going to score is if I lobbed it over the keeper with his head. I didn't do that. I don't even know how he did that. I've never seen that happen in my life before. RNG? I don't know. Made me look like a good FIFA player, but I didn't try to do that. I promise. Welcome. game, I'm not going to give him anything. It's an easy... Oh my days. Like, do I actually have to fin green time that to score there? That's ridiculous. The referee blows for full time. It ends at a victory. All right, YouTube. We are ending the day here with finishing this uh, Goosens, Gosens, however you say his name. I did forget to even look at him at 6 p.m. Gosens? Gosens? I don't know how to say his name. I forgot to look at him uh, even at the 6 p.m. epi, so I'm actually kind of excited. I have no idea what his card stats look like. Ooh, I kind of like both. Oh, three star, three stars, Kaka. Okay, so I don't think this is the one I would go with, but actually purely because his he's three star, three star. For me, and I think I would assume most people in the FIFA community would say you should go with this one, right? Yeah, it, it just has to. It has to be this one because this guy is twofold awesome. First of all, if you give him a shadow and either you just start him on seven cam at left back, he will be a beastly left back. Number one. Number two, uh, not even threefold, fourfold, fivefold even. But number two, this guy on a shadow or even a hunter, in my opinion, a hunter specifically, or maybe a dead eye. As a left mid in a 4-4-2 or in a 3-5-2 will probably be one of the best players you use in that position. Either on a Hunter, maybe a Catalyst, maybe a Deadeye, maybe even a Maestro. In that position, 3-5-2 specifically, he'll be fantastic. And then same thing, probably with the same type of chem style. If you use him as a box-to-box -box mid in a 4-2-2 and a 4-4-2 and a 4-1-2-1-2, even the wide 4-1-2-1-2 with the left mid... I think this guy's going to be sweet. I have no idea how we're going to build our weekend league squad to fit him and uh, Corona into the setup, but I really, really, really want to try. I might actually use him as a box-to-box -box left DM and see how he plays. We'll start him out at left mid, of course, and then bring him in as a box-to-box -box, uh, yeah, left DM in our in our 4-2-3-1. Or maybe we try a 4-4-2. Have him at left mid and have Corona at right mid. We just go with a whole new formation for tomorrow. Again, nobody cares about champs, right? I, you go 0-20 or you go 16-0, and 0, it doesn't matter. The rewards are complete RNG. So, I don't know. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll just try a 4-4-2 for tomorrow. I'm actually looking forward to just testing something out crazy. Also, to end off the day, we've got, well, 11, but should be 10 gold two-player packs to start or to finish. I'm using this team right now in the managerial masterpiece. So initially at 6 p.m. content, I was really annoyed and mad that they brought managerial masterpiece back because they had a couple of stipulations in managerial masterpiece that made the game mode suck. Part of it was you could use no lower than a silver silver players and you could only use three silver players. So even, I, I think that was the case. So you'd have to use 75 rated players here and then three low rated silvers. And then you were still only able to use like one or two 82 rated players. And then the rest had to be like 77s to 79s to get that 77 rating. Whereas like this, I love it because I can use my beastly Bundesliga team, but I have to make some concessions. So I got to use this guy, I got to use this guy. And I don't have like beastly crazy super subs, right? 
Also, I'm limited to 188 rated player in this team. So on every level, initially I thought managerial masterpiece sucked, but the way EA have it done, it's actually very good because if you've got good players, you can use them. If you don't have the best Bundesliga players, you can put lower rated Bundesliga players in there, fill your bench maybe with, you know, four bronzes and then get like three relatively beastly players to supplement your team. So if you don't have a good right back, use a bronze right back from the Bundesliga and then sub on a Cancelo. If you've got a, you know, you've got a really good cam inverts, but you don't have a striker, again, put a bronze or a low rated silver to keep the rating low and then put put on a, a Di Natale even as a super sub if you really want to or someone that's really good at heading. So the more I think about it, the more I'm loving managerial masterpiece. However, the FIFA community are a bunch of wieners and they are ruining the whole experience. So we have spent the last three hours. I wanted to end the epi today by unlocking this guy so I could use him as well for our squad builder. But in three hours, we have had 15, anywhere from 12 to 13 to 15 people quit at 0-0 while getting smashed. I've had another 5 to 10 people quit at one nothing while getting smashed. Now, that's not the, the, the worst part, but the worst part is when I get a go-ahead goal, one nothing. if I don't get the finesse and they quit, this has been the biggest issue now, is these damn finesses are so frustrating. So it's taking quite a bit of time. Um, the crosses, for some reason, don't seem to be counting. I promise you there's been four, five, or six games where I've scored a cross, and it's only counted two. Some people are telling me that you can't be in the 18-yard box when you cross it for a header. I don't know how that is a thing, but maybe people are right about that. I don't I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. Crosses from corners don't count anyways. Unfortunately, then you have people doing the short pass and then the broken corner glitch cross to try and get their goal. So this is an awesome experience. I got to say from squad building all the way through, the only thing that's ruining it is the thing that you're always never going to be surprised by. The FIFA community itself is killing this game mode because they're a bunch of toxic psychomaniacs. Uh, so I personally am trying to spread some positivity. If I'm battering someone and they're staying in the game, near the end of the game, I give them a couple of things they need, whether it's just a finesse, whether it's a cross, whatever the case may be. And if you guys want to do the same thing, let's try and once again be um, a positive part of the, the FIFA community that's doing this grind, man. So for tomorrow, I'll do my best to have this achieved so that for our champs games for tomorrow onwards, we'll have Corona, Goosens, and... Oxford, a new squad builder for you guys to oogle and ogle over, if you will. And to finish off the day, let's get ourselves our, well, 10 gold two player packs plus I think one relatively caca pack, right? Yeah. Well, no, a premium mixed player pack isn't even that bad if you got some good pack luck, which we normally do. Okay, maybe not. Maybe not today. Maybe not today. Yeah, there's a guy that was even baiting me into giving him a, like, giving me goals. I, as soon as I got to the net, he'd like tackle me. And then, so I was just like, oh, whatever, I'll, I'll give him a goal. So I gifted him a goal, well, you know, it just helped him out. I'm not expecting to be given a win, but then he just put 10 men behind the box and just tried to like get a one nothing win. It was ridiculous. We ended up beating him like five, one or five, two, but I don't know why this, the community is bred to just be so toxic to each other. I don't know what causes it. I don't Who's that? That was, that was eight flames. Isn't that supposed to be 88 plus? I'll take it. We just got rid of Korea in the Goosens SBC, so we're fine, but I thought that was supposed to be 88 plus or does it not count for a, uh... don't care. This guy can get discarded. Nice, don't even need to discard him. Perfect. Messy, OMG, bro. If only, if only. All right, all good. I hate it here. Come on. If it was a sick pull, if it was like Marquinhos. Wait, is Marquinhos still available? Yeah, if it was like, or Vinny. Oh my God, imagine that was Vinny. Oh, the rage in my viewer base if we got a Vinny. <laughs> oh, it would have been so great. I'm upset we didn't get him. 88 plus players don't work for informs. Another walkout. Wait, who? Oh, okay. I'll take a Hewlerese. Damn. Gold two player packs are given out, boys. Let's go. Inform walkout and a Hugo, and I also packed myself. Let's go. Restock in the club for, I guess, crafting that La Bomba, La Bombonera, or whatever his name is. Whatever his name is, dude. No. What is that terrible 84 player of the month? Oh, yikes. Oh, not necessarily yikes. Also, not necessarily likes yikes. Let's go. Loris is great for me. I found Magnan to be the best French goalkeeper if we're talking French goalkeepers. Lenormand. Le, Le 
Yeah. R.I.P. Norm. I know you know. Sag. One of the goats that I didn't even really know much about until, of course, his passing. And then you look at his body of work and think, wow, how did I not know how good this guy was? I think it's just a little bit before my time, really, uh, in terms of comedy. Thoughts on Verratti? I love Verratti. That, that's Rule Breaker Verratti is fantastic. I could not recommend him anymore to you guys, man. Yeah, boards I'm going to skip. Cares, right? Just walkouts. Well, ooh, but I will take Azane. Leroy. He seems to be someone I'm packing so regularly now that he's not worth anything. All right, four packs end off the day, boys. Been a good grind. Tomorrow will be even better. Eight! Lewandowski again. I know he's only like 12 coins. I get it. But still. <laughs> Which is even better because I can sell my tradable version. Or do I keep my tradable version to use as fodder? Genuinely. Do I do that? Lua. We haven't even used Lewandowski, you know. I'm tempted to take Haaland out of the team just to test out this Lewandowski for the rest of the night. Would that be sacrilege? Would that be bad if I got rid of Lewandowski? Keep as fodder? Well, it just depends, right? Like, if he... He's 50, 60k now. He's actually gone up. Oh, okay. All right, I'll just sell him. It's just going to be more coins to go into more gold two-player. Upgrade packs. Damn it. Dangler I was hoping for. You can link him with Zane. Yeah, so this one we got from a preview pack. Oh, he's... Yeah, well, he's not 60k. Someone was trying to tell me he was 60k, but I'll take 49.5. Sure. That's another, what is that, 15 gold two-player upgrades thanks to that pull? Beautiful. All right, three more. God damn, these are so good. I love gold two-players! Boards, we'll skip it. I wonder what we'll get on Sunday or Monday for upgrade packs. Hopefully they won't be crap. Peepees would be fun. Nice, 85 and 83. Peepees would be sick. Uh, we'll go into administration. We need a Fonzie, boys. One of the things we're aiming for this week is that rule breaker Fonzie. I will not stop until my club is in the gutter for that Alfonso Davies. You know this, YouTube. Twitch chat knows it. So we are going to go ham this week. And we only have until, I think, Wednesday. So that's also a little bit frustrating. I might have to go live on Wednesday. Um, Steph is going to kill me for my day off. But I might actually have to go live on my day off. Do like a four or five hour, uh, maybe a three or four hour, if you will, last chance gasp at Alfonso Davies because the Rule Breaker Team 2s go out of packs on Wednesday instead of Friday, which means we have a new promo coming. We'll catch you videos on the flip side. Peace.